Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Sly here with Flo and bad news to report. You guys probably already heard it. Maurice Hurst, uh, torn bicep, probably gonna be out the rest of the season. I found out when I was at the gym, man. And um, honestly, to tell you the truth, I was thinking about that the whole time, man. There's pretty girls around me. I didn't give a shit, man. I freaking, it hits me hard, man. Like I hate this shit. Like, I'm gonna be thinking about this all night. Seriously, um, I don't know, man. Flo, I'll just let you go, man. Yeah, man, obviously this is a huge blow for the Niners. Just before that, the day before, didn't we lose uh, Eric Armstead as well? And now mm -hmm. it's... Uh, yeah, that was that was for the whole training camp. Yeah, this is yeah. for the whole season. So yeah, like. uh, but still. Mm -hmm. And then now uh, Maurice Hurst, because mm -hmm. this is going to affect our depth. And the depth in the NFL is key. Luckily, we do have that depth where we have another guy who could step in. However, I thought he was going to have uh, a pretty big season coming up. He was looking good in camp thus far. And for him to freaky and be out for the entire season with a torn bicep, it's going to be a huge blow for this Niners team. Yeah, man. Honestly, it hurts me, man. Just I've made a few videos of Maurice Hurst. I know not many people have been making videos. I made a few about him just thinking, telling you how he's going to have such a good season. I know yesterday during training camp, he um, broke up a few plays, just busted through the line, just destroyed the running backs. And it sucks, man. It sucks because this defensive line, we're not the best front four, but as a unit, we are the best. And this right here is a big, big blow 27 years old in his prime he's a guy that would have been a first round pick but he had that heart issue remember so he dropped to the third round with the raiders his last year with the raiders he had the best pff record on the team when john gruden got rid of him so this sucks man like i said man like <laughs> i was at the gym the whole time that's what i was thinking about right here like damn it what the hell are you kidding me right now and we were hearing reports that originally is hurt too so he's going to be off a while too so man um <laughs> A lot of bad news. I guess he was going for a run. He was going to tackle a runner yesterday. He was going for, and that's where he freaking tore his bicep. And yeah, man, like I said, I think this is a big, big blow. And we can't keep having this happen because if that happens, man, it's just going to be like 2020 and the season is over. Can, can we overcome it? Absolutely. But I think he would have been such a huge piece for us. 27 in his prime. I knew he was going to have a big season. And yeah, it sucks. Yeah, obviously, that's a major blow. Sucks with. The that's happened early in camp and uh, I guess just hopefully it comes back and for next year but I, I, I would hate this injury because it always seems whenever guys mm -hmm. get this injury they just come back as a shell in themselves mm -hmm. and obviously he was just entering his prime too so we'll see how he bounces back next season but man uh, I, I hope surgery goes good prayers for this guy but it's a big blow yeah man I wouldn't mind bringing him back next year um because, like I said, it's gonna, I don't know if he's going to be the same player. Uh, I know he hadn't done a lot of great things, but I'm telling you, man, last year when he was out the first four weeks, I remember when he came back, I kept thinking, he's coming back. Him and Arden Key are coming back. Him, they're coming back, and they finally came back. And he had the first play. I remember he blew up a play against Seattle. And then I was like, yeah, he's, he's there. He's there. And then I guess the next week he got hurt. So I was like, damn it, man. This sucks, man. It sucks. But it's part of the game. Hopefully, just we got to stop this. That we got to stop the bleeding right now because it seems like every week, week day one, our Eric Armstead got hurt. Uh, day two, this happened. So and then Ridge away now. So I got to stop the bleeding, man. If I know last time when this started happening, I think Kyle Shanahan just shut down training camp pretty much. He cut it short. Is he going to do that now? Probably not because it's so early in training camp. But. Oh man, this is a big blow to the 49ers defense and hopefully we so there's guys out there can step it up and the people that were out there bitching about Robert Kimdiche, we have so many damn defensive linemen. This is why you do that, man. This is why you do that. So Robert Kimdiche, man, right there that that spot is open for him. He's had a great first three practices and now he's got to take it and take the bull by its horn because we're going to actually need him now to step up and take that spot of Maurice Hurst. All right, well, you guys let us know in the comments what you guys think about the Maurice Hurst injury. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. We'll see y'all next time. Peace. Peace.